Hey YouTube, it's me, Maddie Makes, and I thought I'd do a video today and show you how to create a monthly budget um, in Google Sheets. Um, that way you can either print it or it's editable. So here we go. I'm in Google Sheets. If you're not familiar, it's part of um, Google. You need a Gmail, uh, a Google account or a Gmail account. And you come in here and I have just, it works kind of like um, all the other, like the Microsoft uh, Word products and things. You go to new, I already did that, right? And so I'm doing this little spreadsheet here and now we're gonna just build this spreadsheet how we want it to look. So before you get started, you should probably give yourself some ideas of what do you want to include on your monthly budget sheet, okay? So the first thing that I am going to include is going to be um, the first section that says, well, first I want to start off by just clicking here and I'm going to go over here about near about, I think that's about how many I want. I'm going to go all the way to H and then I'm going to go up here and I'm gonna merge those, okay? Because that's where I'm gonna put my word monthly budget. And we're not gonna worry about it for now because we'll come back and, and make it all pretty after we put all the information that we want on here, in here. So this is gonna say monthly budget, okay? So for that now, we've gotten that done. Now, what I wanna do is go in here. I wanna have an income, sec an income summary, okay? So I'm gonna take this here and in this first one, again, I'm going to go first, I'm going to go uh, three, I think I'm going to go three across because I'm going to have three categories. Wait, sorry, you guys. There we go. And so again, we're going to go over here to the to the merge, the sale, well, merge the sales. Did I do that up here? I thought I did. I didn't know. Let me get that right up there. Uh oh, here, let's just start all over. And we are going to, I'm sorry, bear with me. Let's take that out, take that out, go up here, and then we're gonna go, did I say all the way there to H? And we're gonna go back to our little button. And then we're going to merge. I pushed the wrong button, I think. There we go, now we have merge. And that's where we're gonna put monthly budget. Sorry if I confused everybody, but I think you get it. Now, the next part of this is those three that I have, we're going to start creating. I, If you notice, I've merged it. I know I'm going to have three uh, columns, and I'm going to call this section Income Summary. All right, and then two, for Income Summary, I want to go over here, and I want to center. I think I want it bolded also. So we're gonna go ahead and bold it. And then after we have our income summary, I am going to have um, a description. Um, an income. and then actual. And sorry again. I want this to be uh, bold. And for now, we're all good. Then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go down about, hmm, I don't know. I didn't even count, but this is where I'm going, right? I'm gonna go right here and then I'm gonna box it out. That's me with the borders, all the borders, okay? So, and I also wanna go up here because this looks a little crunched, right? I don't want it to be cr crunched. So I'm gonna go up here and expand it a little bit. Oopsie, if it will let me, there we go. 
so it doesn't look so scrunched. Now you could keep this, you know, for me, my purposes, I'm gonna center it because I think it looks nicer. So here we go again. And then here we go again. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. All right, down here in this box, I'm gonna put a uh, total income. Again, I'm gonna bold it. And um, I'm all, all good. Okay, the next part I want to put in here is um, I think I'm going to do expenses. Or maybe I'll do giving. Maybe I'll do giving. So here again, we take the same idea, right? And we're going to create our borders. Sorry about my phone, but my son keeps calling me. I'm, I'm sitting here texting him back. Um, we're going to do our borders. I'm sorry again. And here we'll do giving. Sorry, budget. It's fail today. And then we're going to do actual. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to bold it. And you can go like this too. Go up here, notice, and bold it. It's a little easier, actually. And then we're going to go back in the sales, and we're going to center them. OK, that's our next section for our monthly budget. Um, now we're going to do, uh, probably, let's say, uh, expenses, um, summary. So using the same idea, we're going to go here. We're going to, um, merge the sales. And in here, we're going to type, um, expenses summary. We're going to go up here again and we're going to bold it. And then we're going to center it. Okay. And after we do that, we're going to come down here and we're going to go in here and go down pretty far, I think. Right here. And we're going to say, borders please okay and this is where we're going to have our um description C R I P T I O N. budget and then actual and we'll go back up here. We're going to bold it and we're going to center it. And again, same thing. So temperamental. We're going to bold it and then we're going to center it. And then here we're going to bold it and then we're going to center it. So, so far looking pretty good, you guys. Now, the one thing I do want to check is that I want this to be able to be printed out on one sheet and I don't want it to go over. So I'm going to go do a file and I'm going to print. So it'll kind of give me a preview. Now, notice this on two sheets. That's OK, because really it needs to be portrait. OK. <clears throat> and now when we do portrait, it's on one sheet. Make sense, everybody? OK. So the next, the next thing that I want to add on here, I think, are um, debt payments. So we're going to cancel this, go back, and we're going to do the same 
thing that we've been doing. We're going to use three. I'm sorry, four in this case. We're going to use four cells and we're going to go over here and merge them. And then we're going to type what we want. This is just going to allow us to track our, track our debt and how we've paid it. Bold it and center it. Okay, now we're going to go down here. Now we're, we're going to go down and I'm sorry, once again, my son keeps calling me even though I text him and said stop. Um, we're going to go over here and we're going to go down. Oops, I really wanted this up here. So let's control C. And we're going to go back up here and put four here. We're going to merge those. Oopsie, wrong one, right there. It should really be debt, pay debt payments. Okay, so now we have to... Um, Uh, okay, let's just move this back over here. Let's start again. Let's start again. I'm making errors, you guys. I'm making errors because I'm distracted. So we're going to go right here. Again, we're going to merge the sale. I messed up, so we got to do it over. And this is going to be debt payments. And we're going to bold it. And then we're going to center it. Now we're good. Now we have our columns back. That's what we needed. So we're going to go down here. And we're going to say, um, borders. And again, we're going to have a description. We're going to have the amount due. Amount paid. And a column for if it's overdue. So there we have that. Uh, okay, what else do we want? Down here, we're going to have to put um, your total line. I think I forgot to do that over here too. So I'm just going to fix that real quick. We need to bold and we need to center. And again, we need to bold and center. Got too many T's in there. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Got that done? We're all good. Come over here. Bold and center. Okay, so so far so good. Um, the last thing I want to do, or maybe I'll do two more things. Maybe we'll do uh, a bill summary. So again, we're going to go to this line, merge our sales. Oops, right here. We're going to create a bill summary. 
we're going to go ahead and center it and bold it. Okay. Now we come back again and go like this, like we have been doing. Let me see. I don't really want it to go much further down because we got We have to still do one for savings. So we have our our bill summary. And we're going to do our borders. We will do our description. Uh, due date. Oops, I have caps on you guys, forgive me. And then what is due? That's going to be an, a, a dollar amount, you guys. And then here we're going to do the amount that was paid. And then we're going to bold. And we're going to center. And there you have it. Again. I'm trying to go here to make this a little bit wider, but maybe not possible. Instead, it's making duplicate copies. That's okay. Okay, last but not least for this particular one, you guys. Oh, we need our total line, don't we? So let's do our total line. And again, let's bold and center. Um, we're going to do two things we're going to do savings let's merge bold and center and then We're going to go right about here. That gives us enough room for our, our sinking funds. And we're gonna do our borders. And we're gonna have our description. And we're gonna bold and center. Oopsie, center. And then we're gonna do, uh, what should we have, gold? Saved. Um, bold and center. And I don't know what we're going to put in this field yet, but it's there. We're good. I'll think of something to put in there. And when I bring you back for the other video for design, you'll be able to see what I put in there. Okay. Now, the last thing that I wanted to put was uh, sinking funds. And if you don't know what those are, those are those funds that you're you're saving for something huge, like maybe it's education or maybe it's a new house, okay? No, I think I'm gonna leave it be. We're gonna be good. We're just gonna add a few more columns on here. 
that way you can include the sinking funds in there. Okay, and then we're gonna do some borders. Okay, so you guys, these are just the things that I wanted on my, we do need a total line. I always forget that. And center. Now let's do a double check real quick to see that we're still on the same page and it looks like we have plenty of room. So definitely we can make these bigger if we wanted to, these um, columns. So let's go back and make them bigger. <sighs> yeah, yeah. There we go. For people like me, let's see where we are now. Okay, and then we're going to do the same to these over here. Oopsie. We need some writing room. All right, it looks pretty good, you guys. Um, the only other thing that I have to do now is create the formula so that I don't have to manually, if you wanna use this right here as a spreadsheet, that's fine. If you wanna print it, that's fine as well. But I wanna make sure that um, if I'm going to use this on the spreadsheet that it can calculate these things on its own. So to give you an example of how to do that, you're gonna to go to your total column. Let me fix income here. Okay, to create a formula, it's really simple, don't overthink it. And I gotta go back and center this. People get scared of formulas, but it's not that hard. So I want, in my total line, I want everything that's in here to be added and everything that's in here to be added. So how to do that is to go here. You're going to go click auto sum because all you're doing is adding. And then I'm going to just do this and tell it that I wanted to do. I wanted to add the highlighted areas and then I'm going to click off of it and I'm going to hit enter. And so when I start putting numbers in, let's see if it works. Oh. It didn't take, but we can fix that. Go back to auto sum, sum, and then I'm going to tell it what I want it to do. And then I'm going to hit enter. That's what I should have did probably. And let me see if that works. There we go. Now it's working, okay? What I did before was I didn't hit enter. So when you start adding your, putting your numbers in here, it's automatically gonna have that formula for you, okay? I can show you again real quick. We're gonna go in here and you need to be here because you need to tell it what where the final number should be. And the final number should be there. Then you're gonna hit on, click on this little symbol. It's a formula symbol. Click sum, it's gonna ask you what you want to, it to add. And you need to just go down right above that field and then hit, it's telling you it's reading C4 through 11 and hit enter. So again, any numbers you put in here, it's gonna add them for you. See how simple that was, you guys? Not hard at all. Okay, you guys, again, if you, uh, like the video, please go ahead and hit the like. Um, and if you like what you see, subscribe. Thank you. Have, have a great day. I'll bring you back when we design it and make it look pretty. Bye now.